Hayatoro was like a, a paradise. A city where everyone lived joyfully, happily, that you will really enjoy living here. More than two thirds of Ayetoro has been claimed by this sea erosion. Where we are is a new settlement. The old Ayetoro has been taken away by the sea. And if you look where the sea is now, that is the end of the former Ayetoro. Most of our children now cannot go to school because the building has been taken away by the sea. Erosion affects me badly because I've lost my, my, my shop, I lost my house. Even though I'm in one business before, I'm in a boutique shop. So the value of my shop is about 8 million euros. So since the erosion came, I flooded it away and I came back to learn the fiberglass work to survive with my life. Um, the whole place is gone. Coming here from time to time, I discover the changes that are happening in the environment and there is a need to really understand the marine processes that is actually occurring. As you can see, in this environment, we have the ocean surge and also we have erosion and at the same time there are flooding from time to time. between 30 and 40 meters per year in terms of erosion. So it's very, very intense and it's very, very severe. To get water has been so difficult. Water, water everywhere known to drink because the sea water has mixed with the river water. So the river, our river water is now the same salinity with the sea. We no longer have uh, river uh, aquatic uh, organisms. It's the sea fishes and all that that you find in the river. So we depend on rainwater for drinking, which is really not good. We have lost certain glory in this community, certain beauty in this community.
I will stay in Ayatoro because this is my father's land. This is heritage land. And I cannot just go in out looking for what is not outside. So this is my father's land. I can't leave my father's land. The government have tried to limit the coastal erosion, but for me, I would say the government is putting the cart before the horse. And the reason why I say this is because uh, the first thing that the government would have done is to carry out research about the processes, the marine processes that is responsible for the, uh, the erosion, coastal erosion that we are having at Ayotoro. And we are talking about climate change, global warming, uh, the sea level is rising. But we don't really know what is happening. We don't know by how many rates is the sea level really rising along the Nigerian coast. 